Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm hopefully going to explain some of the advantages of doing a rod job to your Evo 10 or any other car really that has inherently weak com rods. So I'm just going to go over some of the advantages of actually doing a rod job as opposed to a full engine build. So the main advantage of a rod job is price. Um, it's much cheaper than doing a full engine rebuild. Um, typically, if you go on Ross Sport, you can get rod job kits. I think they start at £800 for the H-Beam Bridgeway kit, and I think about £1,200 for the I-Beam kit, like I have. I actually bought the Comrods um, a long time ago, but everything else on the kit I did buy from Ross Sport. Another advantage of a rod job is the speed. Now, although the build is taking a little while, in real time, I've got about three days work in Stevo, and if I had all the parts here, another two days, I'd have him back together with his new turbo, cams, fuel pump, everything. So speed, it's much faster to do a rod job. It increases the maximum safe torque you can make on this engine, or one of these here, um, by about a third. So instead of making 400 foot-pound torque limit, you'd be looking at around about 600 foot pound of torque limit by upgrading just those forged com rods. Now just a little bit of an explanation as to why it increases the power by a third just by or the power potential then by a third. Um, I'll just explain quickly. Now here we have a Darton sleeved block so it's had the aluminium sleeves machined out and reinforced steel sleeves uh, pressed into the block so this engine is really uh, capable of making a lot of power but on the standard engine, like what is in Stevo, a standard block, these sleeves are actually aluminium. Now that aluminium physically has to hold the pressure in, like a balloon, it has to hold the pressure in the cylinder. Over around 600 foot-pound of torque, you're going to be making so much cylinder pressure that you're actually at risk of severely cracking those bores. So the aluminium can actually explode, crack and basically ruin the engine. So 600 foot-pounds is the max safe power of those sleeves. Secondly, here we have a forged comrade and piston. Um, this is not a factory piston, but just for illustration, the factory pistons can hold about 600 foot-pound of torque before they really start to uh, crack and become a problem. So the weak point is not the piston, it's not the piston rings, it's not the ringland, and it's not the sleeve. The weak point is simply this comrod. So just to illustrate why the comrod is the weak point, uh, reducing the total safe torque of the engine from about 600 down to 400, um, it's pretty simple really when we look at it. So as you can see, this comrod's made out of cast metal. It does have some reinforcing lines, but you can see quite thin. And what can happen is the downwards force, literally pushing down and forcing the crank to rotate, it can actually bend this comrade if you go over 400 foot pound of torque. Some people have made a lot more, but generally 400 is sort of the safe limit. Now if we compare that to a Cosworth forged comrade, this is a Evo 10 Cosworth forged comrade. We can see a completely different design. Much thicker. Just compare it, look at that, look at the difference. It's literally twice the thickness. And not only is it twice the thickness, it's actually a lighter comrade. It's got stronger bolts and the metal is forged. So forged metal is a lot stronger than cast metal. So that really illustrates why they are so much stronger. It's clear to see there. Now every single Evo 10 arrives into the UK as a standard Evo, as far as my research has shown me. Um, and then Rally Art UK, who were the official sort of importers, they then made various kits. So they would, while the cars were here, they would upgrade them themselves to an FQ330, 360, 400, and they'd done a few 440 models. Now we know that those cars would arrive here, they would change the boost pipes and a couple of other little bits and bobs, such as exhausts, put nice bits of trim on, and uh, they would do that in the UK. Now, the FQ440 model, actually makes over that 400 foot pound of torque. So logically, if they'd fit all those aftermarket parts when the cars were here in the UK, they probably did a rod job as well. Now we know that this HKS 
gasket that I'm using is the gasket they fit to those FQ440 models and the comrods that are in Stevo are the same comrods that they fit to those FQ440 models. So what I'm trying to say, if it's good enough for rally art to get the Evos over here, pop the cylinder head off, put a HKS gasket in and those exact same comrods that I fit to Stevo, then it's good enough for me. So that's my logic on doing the rod job. An engine build does have its advantages, but you're still going to be limited by the strength of the cylinder wall. Now you can see on this block here, it's actually got the sleeved Darton cylinder walls and a block like this can actually, in theory, hold much, much more power. I've seen on YouTube, Darton sleeved Evo 10s run in excess of a thousand horsepower. Obviously there's a whole car around that gearbox engine fueling, but it does show with those sleeves in just how capable the block can be. Um, and the reason that I've gone for the rod job is for this year or the next couple of years, I'm gonna be happy with about 600 horsepower, but uh, hopefully to progress the YouTube channel and Stevo in the future, we might even consider building this and hitting a thousand horsepower. So that will be a goal, maybe in the future, a 1000 horsepower build. Now I have been collecting various spare parts as and when they come up at good prices and I've recently got a spare set of ACL race bearings. I've got another Evo 10 crankshaft. That's heavy. And I've also got these forged pistons which are wrecked but the comrades are perfectly usable um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use them or not because they are for a stroker kit. Hopefully that explains a bit why I'm going to be doing the rod job. Stevo is going to be an absolute monster. But yes, maybe a year or two years down the line, um, if I can afford to do so, we might be chasing a thousand horsepower. Depends how many subscribers we get. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you've learned something, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Also consider liking the video and subscribing so you don't miss any of the content on my Evo 10, which I've literally just done a rod job on. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.